brothers and sisters in Christ, grace and peace. Welcome back. It's station three that we're at now. Mary anointing Jesus' feet with expensive oil. And it's 11 a.m. on this Good Friday. I'm back in the what's known as the vestry in the back of the church behind the, sanctu- behind the uh, altar in the sanctuary. I invite you at this time to um, uh, grab some cologne or perfume or maybe some soap or shampoo or something that smells really good um, and hold it with you during this time. Scripture says six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served and Lazarus, who was one at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples, the one who was about to betray betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept a common purse, though and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. It's from the Gospel of John in the 12th chapter. So I'm holding the oil that we, your pastors, use to anoint and bless people. It has a a pleasant and peaceful fragrance. There's two significant times in our faith journey when we receive anointing with oil like this, the sacrament of holy baptism, as we're welcomed into God's kingdom and near the time of our earthly death as we're anointed. They may seem like completely opposite things, but in reality, for children of God, for followers of the Savior Jesus, they're really the same. They're ways in which we remember whose we are because of who we are. Our life is a fragrance of love from God, from our birth in baptism until our death and the last breath is taken along our earthly journey. That, that's why we gather for worship any day. That's especially why we gather for worship on this Good Friday. In the reading from the Gospel of John, Mary poured out expensive perfume onto Jesus' feet as an act of worship. Smell the fragrance of what you've pulled out in your house. Mary's act of worship was pure, passionate, real, expensive, and extravagant, and it touched the heart of Jesus. Jesus knew he was headed to the cross, and Mary's act of worship was a blessing to him. How can you pour out your love to Jesus extravagantly in a way that will spread the beautiful fragrance of Jesus wherever you are? Take some time to think about that, to pray over that, and to write it in your journal during this station. Pour out the fragrance of your love for Jesus in writing and prayer this day. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, may the smell of your love for us extend beyond us into every day so that people may experience its aroma, its beauty, its grace. Well, it's on our hearts throughout this journey today, God, we lift you in worship and praise in your Son's name, Jesus, our Savior and Lord. Amen. <laughs>